Hey everybody, it's Skyward Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. In the last episode, we learned about our... We got our, everyone their second jobs. Job classes. I didn't use the LP last time. I'll save that for probably the end of this video because we're going to go through a couple more areas killing monsters and getting more LP, so bear with me. And we also took care of one of our first Clan Centurio hunts that we're going to do. And... That was pretty much it. It wasn't too eventful, but sometimes you don't need the most eventful episodes to make some progress. We got a little bit stronger in the end. We got our first character, Vaughn, with someone, like, with HP over 1,000. Everyone got a little bit more powerful. A lot of us are actually over almost to 1,000 HP, which is kind of a big milestone in RPGs, in my opinion, because it's like, you're going to the quadruple digits now. Anyway, enough about that. Today, we are going on a quest. Out into the Giza Plains, which looks a lot, lot red, greener than usual. What is that all about? Well, let's find out right now. Actually, I think they actually already explained it in one of the cutscenes before we actually did our side stuff. Giza Plains is a very unique area. In fact, that it actually changes weather. One of the only few areas of the game that actually demonstrates weather at all. We've kind of seen it in the Western Sand with the sandstorm. Or, if we haven't seen it, well, now you know. Um, we have more powerful enemies that come out during the rains. And, the rains, we probably won't see this for a later time. But, this is the only time in the game where the rains are mandatory. Like, it will always be raining every time you enter during this part of the game. From now on, after this point in the game, every time you come back to the Esther set, or the, the Giza Plains, it changes between uh, the rains and the, the dry period. Um, and I believe the way it does that is it, it, it changes every uh, two hours. Like, basically after this point on your game clock, um, it'll be dry for two hours and it will be wet for three hours. Or wet for an hour. So there are new enemies to, to fight around here, which is, you know, nice. It's nice to see. Nice to fight. It's nice to at least kind of like, if, if they're going to make you go through an area we've already been through before, it's nice for them to at least give you some more powerful enemies to go up against, you know? At least you can get some experience. Like, look at that. We're getting nearly 300 experience just from going this way. Um, Withered Tree, you're important for something later on. We'll get to you. Oh, we'll get to you. So, there are new pathways open to us in some ways that were kind of blocked off. For example, um, one change in the rains is that the Nomad Village is no longer here. We do have the Quiet Man. South of Starfall Field. There. The plan. The plane. Sedin, you are important for something later on in another one of these so far. Huh? And Regen! Now that's a good spell. Um, Regen. Regen is a spell where you cast it and you heal HP over time. Um, because we kind of been through pretty much all the Giza planes, we're just going to be kind of strolling through here. There's not really too much difference. Only new thing we'll be checking out is like the bottom that I told you guys to avoid because of spooky enemies. So yeah. Also, I gotta say this is the first time I'm actually playing with my headphones on because the audio isn't like messed up on my end, which is, you know, that's nice. Now I can play with audio and I can hear, I can hear it all happening and that's nice. Uh, what the heck? An Emperor of Bashus's wife. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what that is. Or Bashus's wine. It causes one ally to mindlessly attack with a weapon in hand. That puts us in Berserk status. That can be useful in certain situations, but throughout my main story, I save those till like, a later point in the game. You'll see what I mean. But, um, I like to call that item... Ooh, Vaughn grows to level 18. Uh, whoops. Um, I like to call that a uh, weapon Vosh's wife, because that's how I read it the first time I played this game. I'm like, oh, I got a piece of, uh, like a little bottle of Vosh's wife, and I'm like, Vosh's wife, and then I read it again, I'm like, oh wait, no, it's Vosh's wine. My bad. My bad. We all make our little baby mistakes. We gotta deal with them, though. We gotta accept the mistakes for what they are. Oh man, look at Mr. Bosch. Bosch is getting pummeled. 
now they're attacking poor Fran. Ooh, Bosh with the combo. Uh oh. Hey, yo. Slow down a little bit, Bosh. Give me that. Give me that water stone. Very nice. Uh, 189 gil. We're getting more and more gil by the minute. It's nice. It's nice to get rich. It's nice. But yeah, like, we, you noticed all those, whenever we first came here to the Giza Plains, you noticed all, like, the little, like, pits that were kind of dry and empty, which, you know, it makes sense because it's the dry. But, uh, yeah, now it all makes sense. It's filled with water. Hey, buddy. A woolly gator. There's a gator. Uh, every time I hear Gator, I think of the woman from freaking, uh, ouch. The woman from, uh, Monsters, Inc. When Randall gets sent to the trailer park after going through the door. And the Gator! I don't know. Probably got the line all messed up, but, you know. It's funny memories, okay? I grew up watching a lot of Pixar films. Like, Toy Story 2, the one with Alf... Alf? Ralph Al Higgins. Or Wiggins. One of the best characters in cinematic history. Like, he's very important to this Toy Story lore, you know? Like, he tried to sell off Woody. Like, that's a sense you never expect to hear. But, uh, it happened. According to the Toy Story lore. I just find that pretty funny. Boom. We killed... We killed the wolf. Actually, I think they're, they're like a different kind of wolf, so it actually should... I should be checking the name. What's next? What next? Um, ooh. Wacky little Ixkthon. Just kind of squirming around over here. Ow, I got slapped by a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, no. I don't know. Man, if there's one thing I get to say right now, if my good pal Dominic is watching this video out of the blue, I have a message for you. I hate Persona 3. I really hate it. One gill. Uh, amazing. Uh, that's my punishment for saying I hate. That's my eternal punishment for saying I hate Persona 3. Okay, no, no. That was a bad joke, ladies and gentlemen. Never follow in my footsteps if you want to be comedi uh, a comedian. Ooh, we got traps around here. Oh, no. Not the traps. Oh, no. I will spin in circles as I kill the Ixthons. But, um, I'm gonna say if you're into hunts, make sure to pay attention to the Driftwood for the future. Very important. It'll save, it'll save your life one day. Dude, I can't believe we're about to get one of our characters close to level 20. Ash always seems to be the one that gets up there the most first, or the first in all my playthroughs. I don't know why. Probably because I use her a lot. I want to make sure my healer's in tip-top shape. So that way she doesn't go dying all the time. You know how it is. That's the thing. Um, hyena. Okay. There we go. They're not wolves. They're hyenas. Doing good. And Bosch is... They got it. Bosch is like a pretty tough unit. He's a tough man. Uh, how are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Ooh, Ash is getting closer and closer to level 19. Ooh. Just a few more hyenas. And we could have something here. Boom. They give quite a bit of experience. I'm not complaining or anything. They give a lot more than I thought. I was expecting maybe like high 100. Like uh, maybe, maybe 200 at the most. But we're getting close to... Oh, they're not giving too much anymore. Maybe it was Vaughn. Maybe it was Vaughn that was doing that. It could have been. It's always a possibility. Um... Ash is now level 19. Ball fear, get your butt in here. And now I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn on your license for Kira. Because now you're on healing duty, Fran. You are now on healing duty. 71 gil. 
I'm over here. This leads into a whole new area. I'll be checking out these holes or these extra um, exits at a later date. I'll make a video just kind of going through some of them if we're ever doing out, out here doing hunts. We'll be back here. Don't worry. We'll be back here. Wooly Gator. Wooly Gator. Prepare to meet your maker. Look at us. This is why I'm not too concerned about trying to get the top end gear. Because I think we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Like, we're doing 200 damage a pop. We're doing good. We're getting the stuff down. We're doing good. What are you? A Gigantoad. Hello, Gigantoad. Prepare to die. You are going to die. This is just the plain fact of life. You will die. Oh, we got gotcha. you. At least we're getting more loot. That's always nice to get, you know? Uh, I won't be going down to this area, but still, I want to kind of sneak a peek, you know what I'm saying? Crap, now it's going to bother me. I, what's with stuff bothering me? I don't know. Uh, there's one thing I can talk about as of the time of recording this. I had the weirdest gosh darn dream in my entire life. And I don't know how I... How, how this these keep on happening, but, uh... I keep on... Every once in a while, out of the blue, I just keep on having dreams about Persona for whatever reason, and I don't know why. I, like, my favorite Persona game is 5, Royal, and I haven't touched that game since beating it way back in November of last year, 2020. Great game, by the way. I don't know, maybe I'll do a Let's Play of it one day. It'd be a freaking long one, but, you know... That's besides the point. I think I can make it work. Um, but anyway, back to my point. Um, I don't know why. I've only played five Royal, three Fez, and freaking Scramble. And I don't know why I keep on having Persona dreams. Like, this one wasn't like a pure Persona dream. It just kind of it just kind of showed up at the end of it. But it was like... One of the Persona dreams I had was... I was in a retro game store. And the first thing I noticed was... Uh, was, uh, they had the original Persona, and, and, like, you know how, like, some stores, they have, like, the glass desk or the glass table, and, and, and like, inside they have, like, the more valuable games, because they don't want people just stealing out of the blue. You have to break the glass to get them, if you were going to steal them, which, by the way, don't steal. I do not endorse stealing. But, um, they had the original Persona in there, and then I look on the shelf, and I, I see Persona 2 Innocent Sin, and I just remember my dream. I got on my phone, I, I called my friend Connor... Who is the one who... I got robbed by a hole. I don't even think it took a whole lot of gill. Oh well. I was gonna say. Who was I? But my friend Connor, he's the one who got me into it. Because I'm like... At the time he was playing and I was like playing Dragon Quest Eight or something like that. And I was like... Man, this Dragon Quest Eight game, this game rocks. And then I'm like, Connor, you ought to try this game out, man. It's pretty good. And then he's all like... Bro, who cares? But anyway, you gotta check this game out, man. It's pretty crazy. You're like a high schooler and there's a cat who will not tell you, stop telling you to fall asleep, bro. It's pretty great. But anyway, I, I just remember on my phone, I got on my phone in the dream, and I called him. I said, Connor, get over here right now. They, ha they have innocent persona. They have, no, no. It was, a uh, Connor, get over here right now. They have Persona 2 Innocent Sin on the shelf. And then I woke up. A leech trap. Oh, leech traps. That takes all your magic. I don't know. The dream I had this night, I'll probably save it for a later date. If we're, if I really have nothing to talk about. Because I don't want to keep on talking about dreams. Dreams could be like a whole, whole separate video on their own. But that's besides the point. Um, I just want to mention that I had a weird dream. I guess that's the main point. Oh, voice crack. That's the main point I try to make. Uh, you know what? You'll you'll get to live, Mr. Gator. You get to live today, because we are close to our destination. I believe so. Yes. Off we go.
Look at us. Look at us making big grounds. We're exploring not one area, but two areas today. Don't expect to see that a whole lot. Um, Osmond Plain. Uh, what are you? Uh, Osmond Hare. This is... He's a plane on steroids? Not really. It's not the most... It's kind of a... In my opinion, it's a meh area. I like it. It's got good music. I think it's nice. It's a nice looking area for sure. That thing used War Song, which I think it calls more enemies to come fight the death. Oh god. Um, this could have been bad. This could be bad. Bosh ain't good at these things. He ain't good at fighting birds, but thank god, uh... Um... Ooh, a, a zoo and a, uh... Mesmer. Zoo are flying enemies. These guys are like electric zebras. Uh, ooh, we could be in some major danger here. Hey, it rhymes. Major danger. Get... Get back. Stop running, bro. You're, you're not worth it. You're not worth it. It's running away. It's not worth it to go after it. Oh, wait, no, he's back for seconds, I guess. Uh, good job, Bosh. You're level 19 now. Can't really switch you out. For Vaughn. Yeah, I can't switch you out for Vaughn. Die, Zoo! Do I have anything? Infuse? Nah, I can't infuse. I cannot infuse! Ouch. Ouch. I'm getting spanked by the Zoo. He's hurting me. Get a good look at Bosch's head. Thank you, Bosch. Alright, Osmond Hare, you, your friend sent us on quite the goose chase. We went traveling all over the place. Um, if there's one thing I could say Osmond Plane kind of reminds me of. It's Gar Plains from Xenoblade Chronicles, because it's just really just a big field. It's a big field to explore, which is, you know, that's nice. Really shows you the open-endedness of all things. 72 Gil. Um, you. Ooh, you. Oh, it's another zoo. Doing this thing again. Uh, come at me, zoo. Oh, I didn't switch Bosch out. What am I doing? Oh, well, Bosch, you're getting extra experience, I suppose. Come on. Murder. Die. At least Bosch's block rate is on point. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that, Bosch. Um, large fetters are actually kind of valuable, I will say. Um, yeah. We're doing good, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing good. So I believe our destination is to the south. That's where we're going to be, the direction we're going to want to be heading. We're not going to check out all of the Osbom plane today. You'll see what I mean. We're mainly just here to get to one destination to the next. So we're just kind of strolling through it. We get to see a good chunk of it, though. Uh, Fran is now level 19. Man, look at us. See, now the levels are going to start coming in. They're going to start coming in real good. Uh, ooh, you are a viper. Hello, viper. Yeah. We've kind of fought one of your kind before in the most deadly hunt in the entire game. At least I consider it to be. Uh, no one surpassed uh, a thousand health just like Vaughn yet. We're getting there though. Palthir will probably do it with this next level. Which is nice. Uh, another viper. Yeah. Let's swipe you once and then while we charge... 81 gil. Okay. I think we actually missed the chest when we first showed up because I was chasing the Osbone hair. That's no problem. I can just run all the way back. Uh, Dark Bote. Uh, I want to fight you in real time, though. Oh, there's another one over there. Darn it. I don't like the zoos. They're one of my... I hate flying enemies, man. Why are you running now? Why is everyone running? Get back here. Die. Um, 
what's over here? Ooh, a viper. Another one. I don't know, every time I think of viper, I keep on thinking of Sir Viper from Pokemon. I really like Gen 3, couldn't you tell? Oh, Narzu. Oh man, flying enemies are just my least favorite type of enemy to fight. We did miss something. I will ignore you, hair. 71 gil. I came back for 71 gil. But also I want to check out over here. Because over here there's a tiny little crevice that we can check out. Or I want to check out, you know. I want to explore the crevice. Yeah. <laughs> oh great, the zoo is back. Get over here, man. Don't run. Don't run from your the truth. You're not gonna attack. Another one, really? Oh, hey, Vaughn, you hit it. Good job, buddy. Yeah. I'm proud of you. You're doing it, Vaughn. Not really, but kinda. You're getting an A for effort, though. You got an A for effort, buddy. A for effort. Uh, anything else over here? 131 gil. Chronos tier. You can never have another, enough of those. Another zoo? Zoo F. F zoo. Haha. Uh -huh. I can make a swear. Can I attack, please? I don't know why he's not initiating. It's a height difference, I guess. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's height. Um, Vaughn, I don't trust in your abilities. No offense, buddy. You can steal from the, the zoo. Piece of wind magic sight, okay. Man, talk about block rate. Look at me. Look at Vaughn go. He's out here living his best life. Gotcha, Zoo. Got a large feather for our troubles. And another viper, yay! We've been stuck in this one room for forever now. I like the scenery though, Oswald Plant. That's not why. Yeah. It's not my favorite area to explore, but it's it's a really nice area. Like I said, I don't think there's an area in this entire game that I downright hate, per se. There's one that is on the verge of it later on. We'll go over that when we go over that. Uh, ooh. Ooh. You. You are Zagnols. You guys are scary enemies. Actually, no. I, it's like my, uh, my, uh, what I used to say. The bigger the enemy, the less threatening they actually are. These guys are scary, they're beefy, they're defensive, but they don't hurt too much. He's spanking Ash, though. That doesn't sound like a good sense on paper, but I'm not wrong, am I? He was playing her like a drum set. That sounds like a nice play. Wait, are we going to see the Petrify go off? We're gonna see the Petrify go off, because you're Petrified, buddy. Come on. I don't think we're gonna see it go off. Maybe. Maybe. Will he die of Petrification if Balthier doesn't kill him on time? He died of Petrification! We did it! Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Balthier, sure, you can get some extra experience. Why not? Um, but you're level 19 now. Let's get Bosch out here. He's back in the game already. Look at him. Look at him being a real player. Gold Needle. Um, we don't want to head to the right. Although, there might be something. I kind of want to at least fill out my map as good as I can. Uh, yeah, we don't want to head over there. You guys are already back. I just killed you like two seconds ago. Yeah. Uh Man, you guys are you guys are mean fellows. You're the meanest fellows around. How much time are we running at? 25 minutes. Well, it's a good thing that the rains didn't take too long. I was I wasn't expecting Osborne Plane to take us that long either, but it might prove me wrong. I don't know. Die, die, buddy. We're killing you. 
Especially with Bosch with those combos. He's really... He's a beast. 400 experience, though. Those guys are very worth your time to kill. Because they're not hard to kill. They can kind of hurt a little bit if they catch you off guard. But if you're fine and on the top of your game, you'll be fine. I'm going to try to avoid the zoos as much as I can. I mean, if I gotta fight one, I gotta fight one. There's nothing I can do about that. But still, 400 experience for kill. That, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Man. Vaughn is... He's lacking. Anyway, finally... Uh, we can go down. We're leaving the first room of the area. Now, here we are. We got a little bit of a split in the path. I believe that's mainly the place where zoos show up. Oh, 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 I know where we are. This room's kind of special in that it leads to an area. Another area that we do not want to go to. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, look at you being fancy. You sp you spin. Spin around. Spin around like a crazy person. Uh, did Balthier get to 1,000 HP? He did. Mr. Balthier did. He did get to 1,000 HP. Look at you, Balthier. He's a real player. He really is the leading man. Got a lot of these zebra looking mans. I guess I'm kind of glad I kind of grinded a little bit off screen last time. Well, not off screen, but more of like, well, technically it was off screen. A bronze mace. Got another one of those. Nothing really. Nothing to lose your marbles over, that's for sure. I believe down there, yes, down there is an entrance to an area that we do, you do not want to go down if you are, well, at this point in the game, you do not want to go down there unless you really grind a lot. Trust me, I've seen, I've seen people do it before even, like, getting to this point in the game, which is pretty cool. They've more power to you. If you can go down there, um, go for it if you can, if you think you can handle it. Pretty good for grinding, I will say. Um, we'll be checking out that area soon. I'm mainly coming down here because... No, they don't have items. Okay. Actually, I think it might be a different area I'm thinking of. Where you go down a hill and there's like three items waiting for you at the bottom. Um, so yeah, we'll make sure to explore that area at a later date. A sack of poison bombs. I believe that's... I don't know who can use bombs. I want to say maybe a machinist or a machinist. I'm not too entirely sure. There's another thing I've never been able to find the answer to. Because I always forget to look. Uh, Ash, you're running low on some magic. Kind of stretching you thin. Uh, let's use an ether on you. First time getting to see an ether at work. You know, 50, 50 uh, MP, that's nothing to stop at, but hey, nothing to lose your mind over. We get more by walking around anyway, so it's not, not a huge detrimental to us. Vaughn is now level 19. Amazing. Look at us with our licenses, though. I'm gonna turn you off. We're making good progress, though. Good progress. I was about to say, I'm like, did that area over there lead down here? But I'm like, no, that there's another in-between area in there. I'll be sure to get a map of the Osborne Plane. In fact, actually, we'll get access to a map relatively soon. So there's one thing I can say about Vipers is that they're kind of hard to hit. They're a little, a little bit... He's... Twitching around, Mr. Viper. That's for sure. Uh, there's one thing I could say is that uh, because Vaughn leveled up, Ash is not too far behind. Which is nice, you know. Um, over here we have a wide playground we can check out over here. Which is nice. 
Again, I'm exploring it all now, so that way I don't have to later. You know, save us some time later on. Also, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's good grinding. I don't mind it at all. It's a very relaxing game. Because, I mean, I know you don't have to do a whole lot, but still. It's the fun of it, you know? This isn't everyone's type of game, but it's fun. I like it. Uh, we may see a level 20, ladies and gentlemen. We may see a level 20. And we are swaying! Hey! Level 20! Ash gets a little bit of extra experience, but... Because we're kind of surrounded. Or... No, she doesn't get extra experience. I lied. Uh, we're gonna go to Fran's Gambits. We're gonna turn her. I nearly said it again. I nearly said it again. I nearly said we're gonna turn her on. I'm not 18 yet. Calm down. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. I'm having too much fun, man. I don't know. I've been in a really good mood today. I really felt really motivated to get out, do some work, do a little bit, because, I don't know, I, last night, I, I'm recording this on a Saturday night, last night I finished an assignment for my English class that was very meaty, very big, and we've been working on it for like the past couple of weeks, and I think, although I wasn't able to do it like the best way, I think I did a pretty good job, like I'm not going to fail the assignment, that's for sure, because that's my teacher's rule, my English teacher's rule, he's a nice dude. He's, uh, his main thing is, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. His main thing is, like, if you try, like, even if you don't do good on the work, if you at least try and show that you're trying, like, he's not gonna fail you. He won't fail you if you try. And I'm like, that's how it should be, you know? Strive to be your best, but, like, if a student's trying, if you can tell they're genuinely trying, like, there's a difference between not doing your work and a student trying. I feel like they can't really fail you if you try, you know? They can give you a low grade for sure. They can maybe, they can maybe, if they are gonna fail you, they can at least offer help. Like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer you special tutoring, kind of help you out. I never really needed that because I've always been like a smart kid my whole life. They try to put me. My school tried to. My elementary school. I, I've, only, I've been to a couple of elementary schools in my life. I went through three of them on my first through fifth grade, or kindergarten through fifth grade. So, the one where I was, uh, it was second grade through fourth grade, they tried to stick me in a gifted and talented program. But my parents, they, they emailed my parents. I'll, I'll play as both here. Uh, they emailed my parents, or they sent a letter home with my parents that said, uh, um, your son is qualified to do gifted and talented, because they make you do a test. They, like, if they think you're capable of it, they'll put you aside and make you do a test. Like, a separate room in a building. In the building. So, that's what I did. I took the test, and I'm like, eh, whatever. But apparently, I guess I did really well on it, because they really tried to stick me into gifted and talented. And I'm really glad I did, because I may be smart, but I am not one to do more than the necessary amount of work. Like, I don't do AP classes or anything like that. That's just not the type of person I, had. I, I am. I did a pre-AP class for, like, World Geography. It was one of the worst classes I ever took. Because a lot of it just felt... I don't know. I wouldn't say it was hard, but it was... not really fun. I know school isn't fun, but usually I find it to at least be, like, a passable experience, you know? I find it to be kind of... just a leisurely thing. Just... Do it, just do it. Sometimes it's not that fun. What the hell are you, buddy? The hybrid gator. You're the hybrid. Oh, hybrid gator getting a little crazy here. Oh, we have we made him gray. He's petrified, bro. Look at us. Look at us being good Samaritans. Well, that's fine. Though. I've been going through story after story. I've been talking about dreams, gifted and talented. I'm not sure. Um, 
Today's April 10th, I'm getting my SAT scores finally on April 16th, which is about nearly a whole month after taking the test. I know it's the COVID time, so I can understand there's a delay, but like, yeah, I think if I can get back on topic on Final Fantasy XII, not my school life, um, we should be getting there. We're almost there, Jahara. I think this might be the final room. Don't hold me on that. Um, Viper, Viper, Mr. Viper. You are here. Die, die. We're, we're getting the damage done, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing good. We got all these tan, tan, tan hides to use for the bazaar. We can get some good stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll dedicate some money to buying bizarre stuff just to get it. Because, I mean, I'm not going to turn down two free Phoenix Downs for, like, 100 gil. That's not bad. In fact, you might actually be getting a deal from that purchase. And there is some good stuff to be gone from the bazaar, but we haven't seen that good stuff, and we probably won't see it till like, a very long time. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I think we're getting there. We're getting to Jar. We're getting there. Because I remember this area. This is... This is either the second to last room, or this is the last room. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what's over there, bro. I see what's over there. I see. I see the spawn of Satan. Well, it's asleep, but... Um, I see... I sense evil. I sense evil. Over here. Black Chocobos. This is our first encounter. Well, actually, no, this isn't our first encounter with the Chocobo. These guys are murdered in yeah. seconds. Vaughn, you're a monster. They're not too challenging, but they can be kind of dangerous because they can get themselves in a rage, in range status, or enraged status, and they can be kind of deadly. So, uh, you're going to want to be careful with that. And they're very fast. Very fast enemies. If they catch you off guard, they can be kind of challenging. Is there anything over here? A viper! Oh, there is something over there. Ooh, two things over there. So you got the guy checked. Die. There we go. Still level 19, folks. An ether and 278 gil. I'm not gonna complain about gil. Gil next door. Do they call him Gil next door or the Gil next door? I don't know. One of the biggest mysteries of life. They may never. I heard that. Ooh, buddy, hello. Oh god, the angry man. We gotta help our buddy. This wacky little hunter man, help us. Or actually, no, we helped you. Our time, that's our second time seeing a hunter out here. Just kind of doing his thing. Uh, a handkerchief, that removes oil. Um, did I mention what oil did? I'm trying to remember. I don't think I did. Um, I want to say, if I haven't mentioned it, I want to thank a user by the name of uh, Shining Noctowls. He's been watching uh, the... the videos, the series, and I gotta really thank him. He's been a huge motivation for me to keep going, because, like, you know, I I don't ever get really people who are like, yes, please do more. I really enjoy your content. Like, you, it's nice to see it in a different perspective, as he said, I believe. Um, but he told me what oil finally, <laughs> oil does. And that is oil, it makes you more susceptible to fire damage. Like, it makes it hurt more. Which, you know, in context with the enemies, it makes sense. Again, if I've said this before, I apologize, but, uh... You know, I don't want to double reiterate, so yeah. Reiterate. There we go. Taking care of that. Piece of dark magic sight. Look at ya, buddy. Look at ya. There's another viper over there. And 
look at us. We're doing so good. Get over here. I'm gonna kill you. You're going to die today. Viper K readies Ganaw. And Fran is now level 20. Very, very nice. We're getting so powerful, guys. We're getting so powerful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight to see when we reach level 20, you know? Very nice. Most people don't live to see level 20. Look at us. We're 15 hours into our adventure. That is, isn't that just nice? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Um... Nothing else, but I do think that this does lead us to... Yes! Shahara, Land of the Gareth. I'm gonna heal. Ooh. Alright, so we made it all the way over here. And, uh, 42 minutes. I think I'm gonna save licenses, actually. For the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got here all the way to Jahara. If I take a look at our, uh world map. Look at how much progress we made. We went through the Giza Plains and the Rains. We went through the Ozma Plain and all the way to Jahara. Which is where the land of the, where the Gareth live. And we need to ask them how to work the Dawn Shard. Which is what we're going to do next time. So next time on Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, we're going to be asking around the Gareth to see if they know anything about how the Dawn Shard sh Dawn Shared Dawn Shard works. See you guys that